Have you ever looked up at the stars and wondered what's out there? From tiny robots that help astronauts with chores to massive telescopes that can see billions of light years away, we're going to take a deep dive into the revolutionary technologies that made space exploration possible. Space Elevator This is something that we have seen in just science fiction movies, a world where we don't need rockets to send things into space. That's the idea behind space elevators, which could revolutionize space travel. An Earth-based space elevator cannot be constructed with a tall tower supported from below due to the immense weight. Here's how it will work. It would consist of a cable with one end attached to the surface near the equator and the other attached to a counterweight in space beyond geostationary orbit, 35,786 kilometers in altitude. The competing forces of gravity, which is stronger at the lower end, and the upward centrifugal force, which is stronger at the upper end, would result in the cable being held up under tension and stationary over a single position on Earth. With the tether deployed, climbers, or crawlers, could repeatedly climb up and down the tether by mechanical means, releasing their cargo to and from orbit. The design would permit vehicles to travel directly between a planetary surface, such as the Earth's, and orbit without the use of large rockets. To make this possible, scientists are looking into using super strong yet incredibly light materials like carbon nanotubes or graphene. These materials are so thin, about 80,000 times thinner than a human hair, but they're super strong, 200 times stronger than steel. The tricky part is making them, but researchers are hopeful for the future. The estimated cost of building this space elevator is a whopping $10 billion, but NASA believes it could be cheaper and less risky than some current space programs. The elevator could transport payloads and even passengers at high speeds, much cheaper than traditional spacecraft launches. China and Japan have already started working on space elevator projects, aiming to complete them by 2045. The future of space travel might be closer than we think. James Webb Space Telescope, or the Webb, which is like a supercharged version of the Hubble Telescope. While Hubble helped us understand the universe's size, the James Webb, launched in 2021, aims to reveal the universe's origins. It's a powerhouse, capable of taking stunning pictures in a single day, whereas Hubble needs weeks. James Webb's secret weapon is its massive primary mirror, almost three times larger than Hubble's at 21 feet across. This mirror, made up of 18 hexagonal segments, is super precise, aligned to a tiny fraction of a human hair's thickness. This accuracy allows it to focus light perfectly onto the secondary mirror and capture amazing images. With a scope 15 times larger than Hubble's camera, it can even spot a bumblebee on Earth from as far away as the moon. Thanks to this incredible power, Webb has discovered some of the earliest galaxies, dating back just 600 to 800 million years after the Big Bang. Well, if you got some value till here, then please consider subscribing to our channel. Space-based solar power. Scientists are exploring space-based solar power to provide us with a constant and powerful source of energy. The concept involves using huge satellite mirrors in space to capture sunlight and then redirect it to Earth using either microwaves or lasers. These solar highways could supply up to three times more energy than traditional solar panels, as they wouldn't be affected by clouds, atmosphere, or nighttime. To make this happen, the satellites with microwave transmitting capabilities need to be massive, with solar reflectors nearly two miles in diameter, weighing over 80,000 metric tons. Each of these satellites could generate multiple gigawatts of power, enough to sustain a major U.S. city. There are various proposed designs, some with solar panels on the wings and others in large conical structures. China is taking the lead in this sustainable space race, planning to launch a test satellite by 2028 and aiming to match the energy output of a nuclear plant by 2050. The U.S. Air Force also has plans for a test by 2024. The goal is to reduce carbon emissions and stabilize energy costs. The Voyager Station The Voyager Station, the first commercial space hotel, plans to open by 2027. It can host up to 280 guests and 112 crew members. Imagine a central hub with space elevators taking you to your room. Lifeboats, like a space Ferris wheel, are attached to the outer shell of the hotel. 
You can sit on the rim, enjoy breathtaking views of Earth and space, and dine on freeze-dried ice cream. To prevent guests from feeling dizzy, the station aims to simulate one-sixth of Earth's gravity by rotating the main wheel. This simulated gravity would create a gentle force, keeping everything upright. The hotel also plans to have basketball courts for weightlessness fun, along with a cinema, concert venues, health spa, and gyms. This luxurious experience comes with a hefty price, estimated to be tens of billions of dollars, and a trip might cost around $5 million per person. The International Space Station The International Space Station ISS, is an incredible feat of human ingenuity and international collaboration. It's a massive structure assembled from modules launched by five space agencies – NASA in the US, Roscosmos in Russia, JAXA in Japan, ESA in Europe, and CSA in Canada. It travels around Earth at an average speed of 7.66 kilometers per second, completing one revolution every 90 minutes. This means it experiences sunrise and sunset 16 times a day. Astronauts live on the ISS for a long time, doing important tasks. They do experiments to learn more about space, test things for future space trips, and find out more about Earth and the universe. The ISS was started in 1998 and is still being added to with new parts and experiments. This space station gives us a special way to watch Earth and do science in a place with very little gravity. The experiments cover a lot of topics, from figuring out how our bodies work in space to making new materials and medicines. Inflatable Space Habitat It's an inflatable structure designed for human habitation in space, using a strong outer shell made of Vectrin, a material five times stronger than steel. Inflatable habitats are logistically simpler to launch and transport, and the fabric provides strength while remaining lightweight. The habitat includes an astro garden for growing food, science labs, robotic workstations, medical bays, kitchens, and sleeping quarters. It incorporates technology to recycle air and water, making it environmentally friendly for sustained space living. Several companies and organizations, including Lockheed Martin and Bigelow Airspace, are actively developing inflatable space habitat technologies. Prototypes have been tested in Earth orbit and on the ground, demonstrating their viability. 3D Printed Mars Homes NASA is developing a large-scale 3D printer for constructing infrastructure on the Moon or Mars using local materials. The homes are envisioned to be made from a mixture of basalt fiber, extracted from Martian rock, and renewable bioplastic, processed from plants grown on Mars. These materials have been tested and shown to outperform concrete in strength, durability, and crush testing. 3D printers can create complex shapes and structures, allowing for personalized living spaces and adaptation to different Martian terrains. One proposed design, the Martia, is shaped like a beacon, offering multiple floors and rooms with an egg shape for minimizing environmental stresses. What do you think about these technologies? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching!